So how much do you guys think Michael Burry is down on his big short bet against semiconductor stocks? Here's an article from Finbo that's going to give us that information. Because, so yeah, this man is down on his short against semiconductors. Here's how much Michael Burry is down on his big short bet. In November, eyebrows were raised when it was revealed that Burry closed his bearish position on the broader United States market stock market at a loss. Yeah, he was short the S&P 500. He was looking for a price to go down. And as you can see, leading into the ending of 2023, the S&P 500 ended the year up. Redirecting his pessimistic outlook toward SOX, S-O-X-X, a major semiconductor exchange traded fund as an ETF. Now, on January the 16th, okay, two days ago, concerns heightened as the SOX ETF surged more than 11%. Wait, hold up. Surge. Hmm. Michael Burry's looking for the price to go down, though. And it went up 11% anyway amplifying worries about Burry's semiconductor gamble, particularly amid the flourishing AI boom. Yeah, everybody want these chips so that they can produce these large language models to create their AIs. Is he sitting on the right side of the trade? Right now, he's not. In November, Burry placed a put order with a notional value of $47.4 million in the socks, meaning that he's placed options that the price of the socks is going to go down in November of last year. The socks, however, saw a surge over 11%, resulting in substantial unrealized losses of over $5 million for him. So right now, he's down $5 mil. $5 million. Now, is he sweating bullets? Probably not. Because what he has done his thesis or his research on may not be because of the AI boom. He may be is seeing something else. Like a recession. As the start market tracker bar chart reported in a post on Twitter on January the 16th. Here it is. They got his face. Well, the guy who played him on the big short. He bought right there. And as you can see. Price in the socks continues to go up down five mil right now he wants to see the price go down and since the most prominent holdings in this etf are amd broadcom and nvidia which experienced 61 percent for amd increase 32 percent increase in broadcom and 30 i'm sorry 32 percent in broadcom and 38 percent broadcom and 38 percent gains for nvidia since the order up to the time of reporting, it is no wonder Burry is at such a loss on his bet. Yeah, those three chip companies, semiconductor companies, are up massively. Given prediction that the AI chip market could reach an impressive $400 billion in the next four years, it appears unlikely that semiconductor stocks will halt their current upward trend anytime soon. Will he close out? At what price do you think he will close out at a loss? He's at 5 mil. Is it 10 mil? Is it $15 million where he finally say, I, I can't take no more. Let me go ahead and get out of my position. Unless exceptional bearish conditions arise, such as a recession, the momentum in semiconductor stock is expected to persist. This might be precisely what Barry is waiting for. Talk about the recession as he seems in this play for the long haul. So, yeah, he might not even be sweating bullets. But here it is. I did a price prediction in the market for socks, right? Looking for the price to go up. It exceeded my ultimate TP price, which is rightfully so. And it came up here to the all time highs. And I think I explained that on our video. Getting out now into the market in socks, that'd be 12.69%. Now, price has broken this downtrend line. The price in the socks is still bullish. Where did Burry buy at? Let me go ahead and see that on there, that on that chart, real quick. So it looked like he bought around. 505 maybe so let's go ahead and create that let's just say 505 let's give him the benefit of the doubt okay so that would represent Burry
So we'll go ahead and put burial put option price there. Let's make it smaller. So now he won't break even until price goes below that level, whatever price he bought at. So looking at this on the two day time frame, we're going to look at the market in the stock see if it's still bullish. Currently it is uh, off of this weakness bar there. Price is still maintaining the strength. Okay. It is on the three. Still looking pretty bullish here too. Excuse me. Right there. Here it is on the five. Still there. Here it is on the weekly chart. Two weeks. Three. Okay. Five. And the monthly. So yeah, the monthly chart looks bullish too. We got that indicator strength triggered in the stock. So yeah, this stock, I mean, this ETF is still looking pretty bullish. So let's go ahead and put this on the chart. Now with this prediction that I'm doing, I don't know where the high is going to be. Okay. Don't know. So anywhere within our price target area will have to be the high. Our first target is going to be at the all time high right here at the high of December 28th, which gives us around 4.36% there. And let's do the $600 target, 7.1% there. Now this is going to be contingent on us seeing the buyers in this ETF hold this level right around here. I don't want to see the market break below that zone, which is our buy zone. Okay. Yeah, I like that. So go ahead and give me your thoughts. I am done. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And well, before I go, how long do you think it's going to take for price come back down so that Burry can actually accumulate some profit? Or how high do you think price has to go before he'll let his play go, his options play go? Because yeah, like the article reads, this ETF still looks pretty bullish. We'll see. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain your profitability. And as always, trade different.